Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm in the process of building myself a DOS gaming computer, uh, specifically one with technology varying from around uh, 1992 to about 1995. Um, via it's more sort of a nostalgic project than a particularly accurate one. Uh, just to show you a quick look, this is the system which I currently have. So this is an LS. 486E, I believe. Let me check. Yes. Uh, Revision D motherboard, which has 256 kilobytes of built in processor cache. I've gone for an odd choice of the Intel Pentium Overdrive, 83 megahertz, which is quite a fast socket free processor. Um, not the fastest, so it would be left to the Cyrix. 586. However, that has several issues with uh, specific microcode instructions and things such as that. And I've got here uh, uh, 32 megabytes of Edo RAM, uh, or it might be FPM. I, I'll have to go and make sure of that. But it's pretty much a max, which is good for write back cache with this um, CPU cache layout. And then I've got a classic. Sound Blast 16 card because I had one of these at some point and it's got all three drive interfaces although I don't have a CD-ROM for this and while this motherboard has built-in um, IDE controllers I would really like to um, get one of these creative CD-ROMs and then the graphics card is an Elsa winner uh, 4 megabyte S3 Trio 64V Plus, which might be a bit anachronistic, but then again, the Pentium Overdrive is also kind of anachronistic. I've also got a big old hard drive, quite possibly bigger than I would need. It's a Quantum Fireball LCT, 7.5 gigabytes. I more just want this for the sound the system is going to make. In all reality, I'll probably just use a compact flash card. But the real focus of this video really is on the mouse which I got. I managed to score on eBay a new inbox Microsoft IntelliMouse 2, I believe. And I'm going to unbox this now for posterity. Well, I probably should have taken my knife, but as is usually the case, I've left it in the other room. Oh, that's done nothing. Come on. So I'm going to damage the box itself too much. It smells very cardboardy. Kind of very musty. It's a very Strange smell, but again, it has traveled many thousands of kilometers to reach me. So that's a box. We have your important to us registered today a floppy disk, or should I rather say a stiffy disk? Containing probably some mouse drivers. I originally wanted to get a scroll wheel mouse, but um, they're quite hard to get like period accurate ones, which all have a serial port. Uh, this motherboard does not have a PS2 port. And although I've read of ISA PS2 port adapters, I haven't been able to find any, and I feel doubtful I'll be able to get DOS and Windows 3.11 drivers for a PCI based card. Anyway, let's continue. So here is sort of a fold out instruction booklet. Um, so it states that this may be a PS2 mouse as well. There are three kinds of mouse connectors to accommodate different systems and configurations. Nine pin serial, six pin mouse board, and nine pin bus mouse. And Telepoint software. Uh, yes, 
how to connect it, how to clean your mouth. Yes, this is a ball, ma ball mouse. Setting up IntelliPoint software. Custom cursors, my favorite. Oh, and uh, disk documentation and adapter offer. So let's see. I wonder if I actually fill this in and send it if anything will happen. What can I get? A 9 pin to 25 pin adapter, a 6 pin to 25 pin adapter. I can get a 5 pack or a 50 pack. There's no charge for ordering this. Huh, I am. I'm really curious. Maybe I'll do this. It might. Maybe it'll be funny. But again, I am in South Africa. It's unlikely that I'll get the post back ever at all. So I can call some support. Available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's get to the mouse itself. Oh, there's still some some more documentation on here. Want the address of the most important person at Microsoft? Is that Satya Nadala? Oh wow. It's me! I'm the most important person at Microsoft. I can win a trip to Florida. Let's see, what kind of computer do you use? A 286, a 386, a 486, a Pentium, an Alpha AXP, a MIPS, or an other. Mm. Do you have a modem or a CD-ROM drive? Fascinating. I'm quite certain this postage uh, registration has probably expired. Okay, now onto the mouse, finally. This plastic has, I don't know if it was originally this yellowish but yes so here is the important serial to ps2 adapter which you can't just use any ps2 mouse on this the mouse has to support the serial protocol this smells very very plasticky sort of a strange rubbery smell which seems faintly familiar but i don't recall Ever this clamshell is made from 100% post-industrial PVC. Oh, so it's recycled. All right. Let's see. So here is a mouse. It looks brand new, made in Mexico. The cord is perfectly fine. I was actually afraid this might have been stuck together with some sort of elastic um, when I was peering through the box, which would have totally degraded. But let's take a look at it's like some. I think this is like off gassing from some plas plastic. You know, being a chemical engineer, I should probably know. Yeah, it just smells very plasticky. It's fascinating. But I mean, look, here it is. It's a mouse. It's so mint. It's got a ball. Heavy ball. And this would probably need cleaning. Oh, it's adorable. Yes, I'll definitely be enjoying civilization with this. Well, there is the Microsoft IntelliMouse. Version 2 if I'm to believe the packaging, as it says here. With both PS2 and serial support, that's the important one. So technically I could use this mouse on a modern computer, although PS2 ports are starting to become rarer. Some gamers tend to still have them. But yeah, that's serial support, that's the one I want. Awesome, thanks very much.